Welcome back to the Bye Bye Big Show. Bing Crosby dreamed of a white Christmas, but here on the Big Show this morning, tis the season to go green. Before you say bah humbug to an eco-friendly holiday, we've got some super, super simple tips for Father Christmas, Mother Earth, and your wallet. You're, gonna all love, you're all going to love it. Joining us right now, author of Simply Green Parties, green living expert, Danny Sayo. Danny, good to see you. How are good you? Good to see you. Let's start with the tree, and this is going to be a tough sell for I people. Know, but you're saying go artificial. I've Don't changed go the completely. Tree. I grew up on a Christmas tree farm. I'm all about the live tree because I thought it was a natural choice. But 80% of Americans prefer an artificial tree. Yeah. And 80% of those Americans who buy an artificial tree prefer a pre-lit tree. So I can't change the way that people are shopping. So if you're gonna buy an artificial tree, get one that's pre-wired with LED lights. Got it, why is it so much more eco-friendly though? Well, so instead of these lights getting hot, they yeah. use 90% less energy, so it's super eco-friendly. Okay. You save a lot of energy. The light bulbs last up to 20 years. Wow. So you don't have to replace the tree. They're inexpensive now. So this one's from JCPenney, under $200. So if you're gonna get a tree, get an artificial pre-wired LED tree. Okay, that's tip number one. Tip number two, you gotta decorate the tree. And you're saying we can go eco-friendly with some of the decorations for the tree. Yeah, just don't buy anything. This is from a great charity called World of Good. So okay. they have all these beautiful handmade ornaments here that you can see. Yep. They employ people all over the world in different countries who otherwise wouldn't have jobs. They save customs, they save cultures. So it's a great way of getting beautiful handmade ornaments for a small amount of money and you're helping to make a difference. And I think everybody's sick of those ornaments that just kind of break in your hand and then the little hooks and the clips and all that stuff. Get something stuff. handmade like, and really forever. So 1970. All so right, forever. Talk about the gift wrapping because I mean, I think that's one, I, everyone feels guilty. You tear through those presents in the morning it's like, it's what do you do bad. with all this stuff? And you know, actually during the holiday season, trash output is yeah. about 25% higher just from gift wrap. Got so it. what so you can actually for do, recycle? Uh, let me show you something. So you can actually take this big roll of brown paper I got at the Lowe's Home Improvement okay. Store. It's yep. all recycled paper, $3 for this huge roll. And I wrap the boxes uh, using that paper and electrical tape. Can you kind of guess what this pattern looks like? <sighs> Looks pretty darn good. That's what it looks. It's, I'm replicating the Burberry straight pattern. <laughs> Look, is, is it the real thing? Well, no. I wouldn't go that far, Danny, but not bad. It's not, it's not the same thing, but it's no, but the it's idea. Great. Just a little electrical tape. It's very MacGyver. It's yeah. very resourceful. You know, it's kind of easy to do. Okay, now we're going to head outside. So outside. Everybody loves to decorate the outside of their home. A little Clark Griswold dish. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we thinking here? That's where a lot of your electrical uses from outdoor lighting, you never turn it off. It's on from Thanksgiving all the way to the end of the year. Yep. So these are also light emitting diodes or LEDs. These okay. beautiful deer right here. These are from Lowe's Home Improvement. Mm -hmm. So they use so much less energy. You can plug them in and forget about them. They're safe because they don't get hot. Yep. So there's no risk of fire with them. You can get different kind of string lights, just like this one, pre-wired topiaries like this one from Penny's. And you can still, you plug these babies in, they'll still light up the entire neighborhood. And you're not you're wasting just saving money. a whole lot of energy. And what about with the wreath? Well, here's where I say get real. So yep. artificial tree is green. A real wreath doesn't kill trees. It's American made, uses cuttings. I love this peace sign. It's from Gardener Supply. Because you still want that pine scent. You want to, you want the house to smell like Christmas. Or hang it outside because it's cold weather. It's going to last a really long time. Plus it's biodegradable and you're supporting American farmers. <gasps> We've been talking a lot about saving money with your electric bill, this and that. How much are we looking at from a saving standpoint? If you were to, to take all these measures, take them to heart. Yep. What are we looking at from a saving standpoint? It's a lot, actually. If you use a lot of Christmas lights and you know our electric bill is really, really high, you can save up to 90% off your bill. 90% off your electric bill during the holiday season. You've got to be kidding. Bye-bye green. Go green. <laughs> Go, I mean, here it is, living proof. This is how you can do it, and you can save a whole lot of money in the process. More money for gifts. Yeah, totally. And it looks great, too. So. <laughs> it does. Danny, thanks. No sacrifice. Good to see you. All right, happy holidays to you as well.